Hi everyone, uh, Mike here, KMRD Radio Stuff. I uh, got a comment on my channel from Jake P, uh, who says, I'm tech unsavvy. How do you feel about making a how-to video for setting up that recording option? You know, so I don't have to read the manual. <laughs> so I can appreciate that. I uh, didn't read the manual either. I, I had uh, <clears throat> uh, someone show me. So it's actually quite simple. There's just a couple uh, little menu steps we have to go through. So the first thing you'll notice in our function menu, we have three functions, none of which have anything to do with recording. So uh, we actually have to enable that menu. So let's hold down our function button. And we're going to go to uh, menu 511 to record setting. We're going to click that and enable it. So now when we hit, we have function one, two, CW speed. Oh, there's that. So now we have this record setting thing. So all you have to do is uh, you'll, you'll push your function button on uh, highlighted memory and you'll notice the record thing comes up. You got to do this kind of quick uh, because it only, see it just turned off there. So you hit the memory button and then you can choose one of five uh, memory slots. So whichever one you want to use and you can you can assign whatever, um, you know, to one of your function buttons, whatever. So all you have to do is click the memory, memory button and then check, choose which channel you want key down, wait a split second after you key down because it takes a, a second to actually start recording. Um, and then that's that's that part. So let's try that. So we'll just do channel one, key down, CQ test, CQ test, kilo eight micromio delta. CQ test, CQ test, kilo eight micromio delta. So that's that. Uh, so now we can see if we go back, Push our button. Okay, so we heard it. That's great. Notice it didn't transmit. So the other thing we have to do is actually turn this PB function for playback on. So now, when we key up, it just keyed up. So uh, the only other thing we need to do, and this is just... Uh, for audio playback, you don't need to use the monitor function. It's actually, uh, and why they're not grouped together is beyond me. Um, so menu three one and three two. So three one is how loud it'll actually play back. So notice, I'll turn that down. You hear nothing. It is transmitting, but you hear nothing. So it's just your monitor. Uh, so now if we turn this up, let's say to 20. CQ test, CQ test, kilo so now it's a little bit louder. Um, so just depending on what you're, you know, what you're doing, like the other day I was out doing parks on the air and I had it at like 15 just so I could hear it, but um, inside I find it, you know, 10 or a little bit lower is fine. Um, this DVS transmit out, I believe is... Uh, how loud it actually is being transmitted, I think. I'm not really sure. Um, for my first parts on the air activation, um, you know, a week or so ago, I had this all the way down at like seven or I think it was at seven. So I, people were still coming back to me, so I don't really know. I'm not on the other end of it, so I can't hear it. Um, so, uh, but keep it at 100. I was doing parks on the air the other day. I had it at 100. Uh, the bands were totally closed and I still activated the park. Um, last Sunday, I think it was, 40 meters was even closed at night and I still made 18 contacts using this. So uh, it really helps just save your voice from calling CQ a million times. Uh, super great function. So uh, Jake, thanks for uh, asking that question. Um, someone else asked about it too. I forget who you are. Um, but uh, So here we are. Hope this helps. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and uh, enjoy your Yesu 891 uh, memory option. It is definitely uh, 
uh, a nice luxury to have. So anyway, thanks for watching 73 KMRD radio stuff. Thank <laughs> you.